fires started by people living in abandoned structures temporarily continue to be an issue for the Amarillo Fire Department. KMR Local 4's Jason Rich has more on how this isn't just a wintertime problem. It's a problem that the Amarillo Fire Department thought was contained to just one part of the year. What we found is during the winter months, uh, these transients are going in to escape the cold weather. But during the summer months, they're going in to escape the heat. Joy says that since October of last year, they've responded to over 30 fire calls having to do with transients living in abandoned structures, 11 of those since April of this year. When we respond to these structures that we assume nobody is inside, and then we find several people living inside, it creates a dangerous situation, not only for the people inside, obviously, but also for our firefighters. And in some of those calls, they encounter homes where the structures have burned before, which makes it even tougher. So that creates just an extremely dangerous situation where you have a deteriorated home where the structure is not good, it's not sound, and then you have people living inside uh, and setting fires again. So it creates a really dangerous situation. Joy says that while it's a tough issue to tackle, there are other legal options for transients to seek shelter no matter the season. The Salvation Army, for example, uh, they can seek shelter there. We don't want them going inside of these dangerous homes and seeking shelter. In Amarillo, Jason Bridge, KMR, Local 4 News. It also says that the community can help with the issue by checking their environment. They say to call local law enforcement if they believe someone may be living in an abandoned structure.